Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the F1 Career Mode here today for part 54. And it's going to start a little bit different for the fact that to me, I've had a failed upgrade and also a regulation change is coming for next season. And I was completely caught off guard and missed it. Missed the cutscene with Carl when he comes in. So as you can see on your screen now, this is what is um, going down and the regulation change, big one, it's on the engine side and the chassis side, so it's basically like real life again now with the regulations changing in 2022. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go through, basically we have a lot of points as you can see, and just try and salvage some of these parts I'm not sure what I'll be doing for next season I haven't really thought too much about that so what I'm going to do I'm gonna start getting some of these points done and I'll see you on the other side of the grid this is the grid then for the Italian Grand Prix it's the same front two as a Belgian with Brown ahead of Max Verstappen P3 and P4 is Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Then comes Pierre Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, a great P6. P7 goes to Sergio Perez and Antonio Giovinazzi gets his best qualifying of the season at his home Grand Prix. Lando Norris and Valtteri Bottas round out the top 10. Lewis Hamilton just misses out and Alex Albon is alongside him. Lance Stroll gets a strong qualifying in P13 with Roman Grosjean on P14. Nico Hülkenberg is down in P15 and Sebastian Vettel 16th with a grid place penalty. George Russell is 17th, Daniel Ricciardo 18th and on the final row is the two FT boys Lucas Weber and Devon Butler with another penalty. So here we go then. We're on the front row, we've got pole back to back poles great feeling hopefully this is going to be a good race we're going to be doing a one stop if everything goes to plan from the sauce onto the mediums we're going to put some extra fuel in the car and let's get into this italian grand prix can ferrari win on home soil or can we spoil the party it's lights out and away we go it's pretty equal up front but there goes max verstappen we've had a pretty Good start, but we haven't as Max Verstappen gets away better. Down the inside, we try and defend to the outside, we go deep. We then have to go around the outside of Max Verstappen, goes there and gets past us. We're down to P2. Carlos Sainz stays free, P3, ahead of Charles Leclerc. Into the second game, we're going to try and do what Lewis Hamilton did to Sebastian Vettel, but we can't do that. We're forced off the track slot. I'll outbreak myself again and here comes Charles Leclerc in the background he's trying to get round the outside of Carlos Sainz he's done it into the second Lesmo round the outside Carlos Sainz squeezes him out a bit but he's still there Charles Leclerc and now it's a drag race down to the Hiscari chicane is it going to be Red Bull or is it going to be look at Big Gasly making it free wide and Charles Leclerc gets through there and up into third place, Big Gasly costing his teammate the position there. But Big Gasly getting the job done on his teammate, I do believe that. Actually, no, he hasn't got the job done. But back up front, on to lap two. I, you know now I'm going to be gunning for Max Verstappen. We had a bit of a battle in Belgium. I'm hoping it's a bit more feisty here in Italy. And there go the two Red Bulls, they're side by side into the first chicane. They're side by side out of the chicane now and now heading towards and through the curve of Grande they go. Side by side, which Red Bull's going to get ahead? I think it's Big Gasly at the minute, but they're still side by side. It's absolute chaos behind as well. They're still side by side. There goes Carlos Sainz, squeeze out his teammate, there's yellow flags in the background skipping on to lap 3 I had a little look at, at Max Verstappen there and on to lap 3 yet again the two Red Bull boys are going at it again 
and through the curve of Brandy once again this literally looks copy and paste but Carlos Sainz does defend there onto the end of lap 3 and we are getting closer and closer to Max Verstappen can we get the job done we're going to go to the inside fake to the outside we're going to break early though Max Verstappen's locked up and I've seen my chance of going round the outside of Max Verstappen and we have that job done through the curve of Grande they go though here comes Max Verstappen he's not having any of it he wants to win on Italia home soil in the Ferrari we defend him though into the second chicane and now hopefully we can get away in a couple of corners later though through the second Lesmo and we've gone wide and lost out to Max Verstappen that is a rookie mistake from us we should not be making mistakes like that and all our hard work of getting close enough to Verstappen and getting past Verstappen I've just absolutely just tossed it into the bin but we move and I'll try my hardest to get back past him we've caught him into Parabolica and we have got the job done that is an amazing move this is a replay of the first move you can see where Verstappen locked up so I put my foot back down and we got the job done that was an amazing move it was completely like accidental and on all the way to lap 11 now we absolutely blitzed away from Max Verstappen after making that move into Parabolica so into the pits on lap 11 does come Max Verstappen he will put on the mediums and he will be going to the end of the race now no second stop although Ferrari we've seen in the past seasons of Italy they do like to mess up their strategies I think it was last season with Charles Leclerc they bodged his strategy and it cost him the race win but we'll see if that happens this year but I don't think it will Max Verstappen having to defend of Lucas Weber into the first chicane Lucas Weber squeezed him out but Max Verstappen fresh tyres is much quicker than that Toro Rosso Toro Rosso nowhere near where they were in 2008 when Sebastian Vettel won here in the rain round the outside goes Max Verstappen and gets the job done on Lucas Weber on to lap 12 now and the other Ferrari of Charles Leclerc comes into the pits and what strategy is he going to be doing as he trundles down the pit lane underneath the amazing podium they have here in Monza and puts on the medium tyre so Ferrari doing the same strategies no split strategies like we've seen in the past on this game McLaren are making a stop for Lando Norris he gets held up by the Red Bull there of I believe that is Pierre Gasly and let's see where they come out then the, the two Red Bulls come out side by side is it going to be sorry it's actually um it was Pierre Gasly I think I couldn't see the number there all the way on to lap 13 now one lap later we are going to come in to make our one and only stop we have about a 20 second margin over Max Verstappen so we can get in and get out and still be in the lead of this Italian Grand Prix into the pits we go and it's absolute chaos what is Williams doing they're not ready for me they're just kind of standing there looking at me I've been sat here for four or five seconds before we get away before they even change the tyres and as we come trundling down the pit lane there is Max Verstappen and Max is gonna beat us out and what should have been absolutely comfortable is gone to absolute part and Williams known for the fastest pit stops that certainly wasn't one of them this is what happened look at the mechanic just in front of me he's just staring at me and everyone just I don't know I have no words I've never seen that before I tried using a flashback to see if that fixed things but no so Williams they knew we were coming in on that lap Jeff told me to pit so they weren't ready and now we've got 
ground to make up again and onto lap 14 we had sent it into the scary no messing about I was really annoyed after that pit stop by Williams we should be at least four or five seconds at the road you saw how long we were sat there one lap later though here comes Max Verstappen he's gonna try and re-overtake us but he isn't quite close enough going into the second chicane we make a little mistake there I think but now on to lap 16 here comes Max Verstappen he's getting closer and closer he tries to go to the outside I try to squeeze him as much as I can I got to leave him space but then I squeeze him into the chicane and we stay ahead but it's all about traction now as we head through the curve of Grande and Devon Butler has retired from the Italian Grand Prix on the very, very final lap. Can he get any more unlucky? I mean, I don't care. He's my rival in all this story, Malaki. But that is painful to complete all 26 laps and not complete the last one. And he will retire. No, it looks to be electrical. But heading up to the Parabolica for the final time. We did it in Belgium. We're going to round the final corner of Parabolica. And we are going to win in Italy. We're fending off Verstappen again. And we make it two in two after the summer break. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. We've done it on Ferrari soil where it hurts most Ferrari get the double podium but it's not the double podium they wanted that's your Italian Grand Prix what a battle it was for Verstappen we now leapfrog our teammate George Russell I still think we the championship's too far off I'm aiming for top five I think that's more realistic but what a battle with Verstappen this is the constructors I think we can catch Alpha, I'm not sure about Red Bull, back into the paddock and wow, we did what we had to do, Williams nearly screwed us over just like they, just like the um, safety car tried to do in Belgium, but we fought back through it, no messing about, we got back up the back of Verstappen and now if you look at the last three years, we have always finished on the podium in Monza and always got better but that has been this video I hope you've enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in Singapore